I just can't. Hello, hello, and welcome, everyone. We are here with the finals in the NJC AAE Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Matchups. I'm very, very excited to bring it to you today. Yesterday, I was on Rocket League, and today, I'm in a little different area. It is going to be Super Smash Brothers, but of course, we have the lovely Ravishing Ravish coming in alongside me, and we are going to have a blast of time. Ravish, how are you doing today? Good. <laughs> Good, I like it. I like it. And today we do have a little bit of a best of five in the grand finals. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be amazing, hopefully. It will be the Iowa Western squad versus, of course, the lovely, lovely Madison College. The two players that we do have are Tony Z Tank, as well as I believe it is a Ricochet. And these two mm -hmm. players are going to be going pretty hard considering they have pretty good records against uh, against all their opponents. Yeah, exactly like you mentioned, right? Uh, so firstly, Orbital, you're a man of so many talents. A shout out to you on that, man. Look, you're doing <laughs> your you. thing. But yeah, like you were saying, uh, we do got these two squads going at her at the beginning. The Sonic, though, I've seen a fair bit, oh, you know, yeah. from Tony Z. He's kind of nasty on it, I got to say. <laughs> but the Mario on the other end, by a man named Mario, is being from the school starting with M. I feel like that's a triple M threat, which cannot be understood. Of course, and it is, uh, I, I did misspeak, uh, it is not Ricochet, it is Mario, we'll just call him Mario. Mario playing Mario, and Tony Z Tank not only has a Sonic, has also mentioned that they have a plethora of others, but Sonic, of course, being that major shareholder in the amount of matches that he has won, and he, he also wanted to point out that he has not dropped a single game in the regular season, and then in playoffs, he only dropped one, has had a fantastic record. Not too bad so far, though, but even right now, like you were saying, considering only dropping one game is impressive on its own, but maybe right now we'll see if the man Mario himself can perhaps change that up. Got a nice little uppercut on that. It was a whole lot of coins given away before. Now the Tony Z is just taking every single bit of damage that could possibly dish out, and finally he makes things uh, a little bit more even. <laughs> a okay. little bit. We say yeah. a little with like 70% damage between them. It's going to be a good time, hopefully. But, of course, Tony Z Tank on the rougher end of things, but it's starting to bounce back with a couple combos. These are pretty natural air combos that you're hoping to go with here. And, yeah, the balance is really evening up now. And Mario is starting to realize that they're getting caught up a little bit in Tony's uh, Tony's kind of attack patterns here. Ooh. Like you're saying, exactly, right? It just seems as though that he's having a, uh, a little bit of a tougher time, like, trying to catch up. Um, like, you know, in terms of all this, all this accommodation we dished out right from the beginning. Like Tony's even right now, though, already having to find, be able to find a little bit of space. And from there, managed to take the first stock off in what seemed to be a very impressive re a reversal right from the beginning. So, Mario <laughs> might have to do a bit more catching up. It's uh, going to take just a little bit here. And, of course, with 122 and... Sonic being a fairly light character, it's up to Mario to kind of determine where that final hit is going to be. You don't want to allow extra socks to go over, and the more percentage that you do rack up, the worse it's going to feel right at 50, 69 now. Very nice. It is going to go even higher as Tony now coming into his own element. Nice knock at the bottom as well with the leap pad. Tony Z take, taking a cheeky, cheeky second stock. Not too bad to try to... Start things off hot a little bit, and then it, this is at this point kind of impressive because considering how the beginning, the way he was struggling so much, and now it seems as though you literally can't catch him. He's a little bit too fast. If this started, if this is Mark and Sonic, uh, Mark and Son, oh my God, Mario and Sonic at the Olympics, Jesus Christ! Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I think the game would definitely be in Sonic's favor. Oh yeah, this out. is. Oh my God. <laughs> this is getting a little bit up there. That is going to be, I believe, almost a JV3 as the DI brings Mario back in, is able to get back to the ledge. Thankfully, Mario has some very strong recovery here. But you don't want to go out into JV3. No one wants to go out on a JV3, but it is going to be there. Tony takes game number one without dropping a single stock. Oh, man. This is kind of hot because considering how it didn't touch him, for for like so long and then right from the reversal right getting three stocks from the beginning is genuinely impressive and 
We we talked about Asana before and how much of an absolute animal he can be on this pick, and mm -hmm. that's only continuing on forward. It's gonna it's gonna be problematic as well because as we were talking about, you know, a couple other characters within Tony's uh, ranks. There, you can play quite a few, but at this point, you only need Sonic. For Mario, the problem is the fact that if you only main one character, you have to learn how to diversify your attack combos because if you don't have extra characters. You're very limited in that scope, right? And that is something that I'm also kind of worried about here uh, for Mario is the fact that it's now been shown that Tony is in his element, does have his rhythm down. He, he's feeling very, very confident right now. So how do you change these up? You had a great run, right? It was up to, I, I think, 120 at the start, right? It was a complete run by Mario very, very quick. But now you got three stocked it, and you have to figure out a way to come back here. We are taking a look. I think we're waiting for the last stage pick here. Last time, of mm -hmm. course, it was Pokemon Stadium 2. Tony went ahead and banned out Battlefield and Story, and we are going to Smashville. So a few, I, I want to say different territorial maps, a few different platforms to be able to bounce around with. Yeah, it's a, I mean, Smashville would be a little bit interesting because just considering how restricted the stage can be, I... I'm personally all for, you know, just um like starting off with PS2 is kind of fun, but in my opinion, you know what? I think you gotta take it uh <laughs> I think you gotta take it like Honestly to want the moving stages just to make things more interesting because why go mm. because why go fight on the neutral ones, man? Why fight <laughs> here? Just to add some more danger to your life. <laughs> right. Let's spice things up just a little bit, you know. I wasn't I wasn't content with what it is originally, and already from the neutral, Tony is going at it. Had racked up 120 at the beginning and immediately said we ain't playing that game anymore. So a very quick setup to 100 on the dime, and Tony is of course sitting at 66. So Mario's still chipping back, but it still feels like Tony is in control, just rolling along this platform. There it is, a little bit of a pop up here. 114 kill range, a plenty. For Tony, if he lands a single combo. So while they're continuing on, a very similar trend that we saw previously. It seems as though, like, right from the jump, like, Mario is trying to just wait, kind of anticipate Tony Z to come into him, but by the time he's, all right, cool, I have a couple of seconds far too late, a good reversal on that, and, and that's recovery, but right at the end, it doesn't necessarily matter. It's just, it's, it's, it's just that up into the neutral beat, into just, Man, bada boom, bada bang. You know that's all it takes. <laughs> bada boom, bada bing. It's over. It's done. It's wash out. That's what it is. That's so. pizza pie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's fitting for Mario as well. Uh, very, very nice <laughs> to be able to enjoy that food as much as possible and really, really uh, try and come back in this. Of course, you can already see it as that is another great leap pad kill. Tony making great work of that opportunity, forcing Mario under the stage, already down two stocks. Mm -hmm. So continue with the same sort of trend. At this point, he's kind of expending his shield. So Mario might have Ooh. to rethink what's going on. This is, this is gross. This is a thrashing. I'm sad. He just couldn't even recover. He just stood there and let him watch him fall. Why? Pourquoi? I'm I, uh, I'm torn. It hurts. <laughs> it hurts. And why? You... <laughs> why? Just why? 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 It's just over and over Jackson, again. You know? it's like, they say why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> so far, though, Tony has shown exemplary skills here. And again, this 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 player has dominated over and over again. And it's showing it here, right? Already mm. one game away from taking the series 3-0. If you're Mario, if you are this player, Ravish, what needs to change? What do you think needs to change within this game itself? Is it something fundamental or is it the stage, as you were saying? Or are we going to get the cheese different character, Mario not playing Mario? Everything needs to change at this point, Herb. <laughs> <laughs> this is... I don't to tell you, man, it's kind of a thrashing so far. Uh, it's, so, here's the thing. You can see that as you go along past the first stock, he seems to want to anticipate almost what Tony is going to do, right? So, he waits mm -hmm. kind of one quarter of the stage, but then right from the jump that he's giving away so much stage control that he's then forced into a corner, and then he either has to make a big move, or if he whips on that too, he's just stuck left getting comboed, and then suddenly Tony sees back up in the air like, oh, we're gonna go, we're gonna go, and then boom, bang, he's out of there. That's it. Yeah. So I, I do any of that. 
that is I, I feel like that's actually one of the best analyses I've seen so far. Like it, casting is just it's the breakdown. It's very it's very simple, it's very clean, right? That's really what it is. And and, and I don't think anyone can dispute it. it. It's the simple fact that reacting to Tony isn't working right now, right? And, and mm. that is the bottom line here. If you're anticipating Tony, you know what's gonna happen, but you're not reacting fast enough to it. So as you said, going to have to have a change here. We are going back to Pokemon Stadium 2. It is going to be those neutral platforms. And I know, Ravish, you were saying, maybe mm -hmm. we have it, maybe we don't. Maybe we get some spice in there. Mario said, nah, we're, we'll, we'll just play it standard. We'll play it simple. You know, original is best here. Although last time, the pizza did not work out in his favor. <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking, you know, like maybe you gotta try to add some extra toppings out of the pizza to make sure it adds a little salt, maybe some pepperoni, you know, just to make <laughs> sure you get that spice on there too, because I don't know about you right now, Orwell, this is the kind of spice that I'm looking for. Okay, we're starting out a bit more even. This is good. <laughs> It is very, very good. And remember, this is also the map that uh, that Mario was able to rack up a well and true, I think over 100% before Tony was actually able to make a mark. So we know that Mario has been able to find some tempo, fun, some proactivity here. However, Tony hitting back so hard right now saying, I will not let you prep your own setups. I will not allow you to play your game. And is already pushing past at 85%. Like, yeah, right from the beginning too, because you see as well, he's just bobbing and weaving around him as if he's playing double dutch, but Mario doesn't get to play. It's like he jumps in between the skipping ropes, and then he gets tripped up immediately. No! No, he doesn't oh. make that bag! Oh, I would've thought he had the recovery there. It was a bit too far. Are we going to see a 9-0? <laughs> I... <laughs> there's there's a very real possibility and a huge thing is again tony with this leap pad has been so precisional with it right constantly dropping it causing problems for mario on the recovery and not allowing him to have a clean chance and that's what's really caused some of these cheese socks to happen and when it happens and i wouldn't say cheese sock right i feel like that's the wrong terminology it's very much in a sonic's wheelhouse to use the one projectile that you have for stage control right for the ledge guard and i think it's very very appropriate here and Tony right back to that speedster move, right back to keeping Mario in center stage and not allowing any sort of move. That's going to be a forward air to tag up even more. Mario sitting at 56, wants to try and push Tony over 80, over 90, and be able to at least get one here in this game. All they need is one, my friend, Ooh. but okay. That actually wasn't too bad because that was more so of just the shield in, in the anticipation, punishing. And just a small bits of frames the unit of Tony's he couldn't actually respond, but he's just letting him run out of his shield. He's like kind of like faking between him, like, oh, okay, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Oh, I didn't do it. And then, and then he's playing oh, mind no. games with the war, bro. No! No, what do you mean? You don't get oh my god. And that was an SD Mario went off stage and a uh, fast fold. And that caused a lot of problems there. So now, kind of SDing into that final stock, you can see Mario's getting a little bit frustrated, actually chasing after Tony now. And, and Tony's making great use of that fact, immediately going for those punishes. 63% here in the first about 30 seconds of the stock, punishing over and over again, going for the finisher. And that was Mario being able to get just out of range, dodging out of that forward smash. And can Mario bring it back? Mario, you got to get one stock. 121, you know this percentage well. Can you get the final confirmation? All he needs is one right now, man. But this, we're, we're looking at uh, we're, we're looking at 3-0, if, mm. if, if we're being very really honest. Like, at this point, like Mario has to somehow break through the barrier of three stocks at this point with only one left in the tank. But Mario has to take control. This Ooh. could be it. He gets his stock, baby. It's not a 9-0. Let's go, Mario. <laughs> it's definitely not a 9-0. It might be a 9-1, but it's not a 9-0. That's not how you want to go out. You don't want a my B situation or anything of the sort. We didn't have any trash talk. Don't worry about that one. But uh, no one wants to get my bead. That is that is a very painful moment. Of course, we are running forward here. And again, even though one stock has been taken, you're still looking at a 132 on Mario side, so Tony now playing a lot faster, saying, hey, don't have to worry about knockback, don't have to worry about losing a sock, let's go ham, and let's try and get this final kill, this final KO, that's going to be a grab for Mario, though, immediately into that air combo, not really landing too much, but straight into the ledge guard, nice kick, keeping Tony off balance, can't get anything with the water cannon. 
nothing right now but maybe maybe look he he's kind of baiting him in the legs but hey look i'm right here go ahead and get me but tony z as well continue to play that same sort of fast fall type of style where so looking for where you can oh that's a little frame trap with him get some hits back but that's gonna be enough because only z hasn't been the land much of a hit and as i say that he forced him off the stage as he's back but he's fine that's another no <laughs> which are the combo he's looking for but can he recover and that'll be in the back air <laughs> That's the one to take it home right there. It will be Tony Z Tank taking the 3 0, not without losing a single stock, but it was a well and true clinic by the singular player. And of course, Mario tried to put up a fight. We've seen players try and put up a fight against Tony. And honestly, Mario lasted much longer than other competitors. So huge props for Tony, which is in a league of his own. Yeah, Tony Z is kind of nasty at this game. I don't know if y'all <laughs> knew this, but like that was disgusting. This is just the way he. Continues to probably terrorize our own slow queue ladders and the one here as well in this game. <laughs> Truly a Sonic masterpiece. I love it. And it was it was so much fun to watch. And being able to watch Ed Tony be able to pull out these sick combos, of course, wasn't going to show the Bowser or the hero, right? No reasons for that. Just seen the one character. Just seen the Sonic. So very, very well done. It will be Tony Z Tank taking that victory here at the NJC AAE Finals here in the 2022 spring split. Don't go anywhere. We'll have an interview with Tony himself to talk about his series, his run in the regular season, as well as what he has in the future. Don't go anywhere. And welcome back, everyone. We are here, ready to go with the interview, the interview with Tony Z Tank. It was a phenomenal series. Very, very clinical work and very, very much in Tony's style, of course. Us two here, Orbital and Ravish, will be doing the interview with this amazing champion. So let's go ahead and grab Tony. Tony Z Tank, welcome to the desk. How are you feeling after becoming the NJC Double AE champion in sweeping fashion, I might add? Now, uh, it feels good because... Uh... Well, I was kind of expecting this going into this season to actually like put in the work and make it this far and like, you know, follow through. It's it's a nice feeling. Mm -hmm. I mean, I bet so, man. Firstly, broski, you're nasty. That was a <laughs> disgusting show that you just gave to it. So let me go ahead and ask you a little bit of a two-parter. Uh, right throughout this entire series, right? Were you expecting for the results to be this one-sided per se? And for people who also want to be able to play Sonic like you, or like, you know, uh, perhaps want to try to get up to your level, what would you have to say to them? And why do you, you terrorize my soul Q letters? <laughs> so I would say I definitely was expecting it to be pretty one-sided because mm -hmm. uh, in terms of like community college, like uh, I didn't feel like there was a lot of people at such a high level because I compete in like offline tournaments and stuff. Mm -hmm. And like, I wasn't expecting a lot of people who also did that and are also in community college and are also playing in this league so i was kind of expecting it to be uh that one-sided mm -hmm. and uh for people who want to play like me i guess the best advice i can give is just you know play the game a whole bunch you know practice practice makes perfect in this sense and like uh i was never really one on like a lot of vod review and stuff but uh if you just pay attention to why you're losing in a game and then you like actively try and improve it then i feel like that's the best method for improving just you know play the game a whole bunch basically respect all right well uh, you know what in in lieu of that one i would like to ask what is wrong with my little mac then why do i keep losing with little mac please give me all the answers tony z tank you god the answer is recovery always <laughs> <laughs> until probably <laughs> you know we gotta learn the two frame windows Oh, oh man. man, oh man. I'm not sure if I'll make it, but of course, Tony, you are the champion here. So, uh, final question here uh, to you, looking forward into your future adventures, especially into 2022, I got to ask, are there any other events that you're very excited? Are you excited to potentially compete again in the NJC AAE, or what are you kind of looking forward to? Well, in the fall, I'm thinking of going to UNO, which is uh, in Nebraska or uh, Missouri one. And so that's going to be a four-year college where hopefully I can start doing some pre-med stuff on my way to becoming a doctor. And so uh, I'm going to have a swamp schedule. So if I can, if I can play video games more often, then I'm definitely going to. But uh, you know, my hopes going forward aren't aren't too high. You know, I, I try to keep it realistic. 
That's fair. Well, any final shout outs that you would like to give, especially now that you're the champ, anyone that you would like to thank along their uh, along your way, or is it just the Tony show? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Well, Tony, thank you so much for the interview. Congratulations on the 3-0 victory and the amazing regular season and playoff run that you've had. Thank you once again for joining us here on the desk for this interview. Thank you for having me, guys. It was it was awesome being here talking to you. Of course. Of course. With that, it will, of course, be the end of this broadcast. It was short, but very, very sweet and very, very spicy. But I mean, Ravish, I think we had a blast here for the time that we were on. That is indeed correct. I am indeed having a blast. Wow, we. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you to all who tuned into this amazing broadcast. And thank you so much for your viewing. Of course, there will hopefully be more events later on as well with the NJC AAE. Keep in contact with them through Discord, through Twitter. And make sure to check them out on all social medias. Of course, you can check out this amazing man. Nope, that's the wrong side. This way, uh, Ravishing Ravish. He is an amazing person hopping in on this broadcast. And uh, I believe, what, what is what is your Twitter at? Let's hear it. Let's hear it, Ravish. You can find me at Ravishing Cast because the guy who has Ravishing Ravish will give it to me <laughs> all right and with that of course thank you so much for tuning in this has been orbital with ravish on the broadcast as well as colton on our production thank you so much for tuning in and have a fantastic evening